Yeah, all right, boys. So, I got in from work today. Nice, easy day. You know, out of the house, 13 and a half hours in the cold grafting. Go home, put the kids in bed. Nice, nice. Come downstairs. Started falling out with the missus. And I'm sure she won't mind me putting this on here. Um, as a deterrent for all you men that are weak. And while we're falling out, she's very angry. She's getting in my face. Um, very angry, shouting and swearing at me. Um, to be fair, you know me, I'm not innocent with falling out. But she did that thing that stupid drunk people do, where they're angry and they're shouting at you and they push the face out and they stick their face close to you with the chin out in the air. And I'm not going to lie to you. Ah, I can feel my hands twitching. Because we all know people that do that to me get 72 inches of grace, which is from my armpit to that. 72 inches. You get in that zone and you're angry and you're in my face. It tends to go one or two ways. Anyway, I come out of the house. I said, I've got to go. I said, I've got to go out of the house. I said, don't come near me, please. I just need to go. And I have. Came out of the house. Realised I've got my wallet. I thought, boozer. Oh, session. Self-destruct mode. Ah. Show me your war face. Ah! Got it. But no. No. Someone else kicks in. Uh, as you can see... I made me, I made the choice because I realised I'm wearing a t-shirt, I'm wearing shorts and trainers because um, I strip off on the site I leave my work gear, that work my boots and that as I'm sure a lot of you will do um, and I put them on in the morning when I get there and I came here to the gym to exercise discipline and respect and try and instill some of that in me and my message to all you men out there going through similar don't fucking bother go to the pub 